Hey guys, welcome back here today to share some empties with you. I don't know why is that. I think it's because of that gold. Okay, to share some empties with you. So I'm going to start out with Sensi because I know some people just like to hear about Sensi. Some people just like to hear about vendors. Some people like everything. So um, the first thing is a Sensi scent pack, and this was in Silver Bells. And you guys, I had this, oh my gosh, in my um, carry-on when I went back east in July. And it, then I went back again in September. And it still smells really good. When I came home, it was like, when we went home in September, we stayed until, like, into October. And I took this out of my luggage and I put it in my linen closet. And I just took this out and it right now has absolutely no scent. So this thing lasted a really long time. Um, I have some of the buddies and I have scent packs in them and I haven't checked them in a while. So really long lasting. Absolutely love, love, love Silver Bells. Um, so there's that. Got through a few more testers. So I did Farm Stand, Pumpkin, First Day of Fall, and Pumpkin Roll all together. Um, in a warmer in my front room and that was a really fantastic combination I probably kept it in there for two days and then on another day in the same warmer um, in the front room I did very merry cranberry red berry and spruce and very merry cranberry so two very merry cranberry and one red berry and spruce so a few more testers I am almost done with my fall winter testers. I think I probably have like, um, I don't know, another week's worth or something. And then I'll be moving on to my spring summer ones and using those. Um, okay, so on to actual bars. From Sensei. Let me just make sure that I don't have any more testers. I don't. Okay. So let's talk about this. Lime and sugar cane. Have you guys ever heard of this one? <laughs> I haven't. I think the last time this was around was in 2017, spring, summer. It's frozen mint, lime, and sugar cane. You guys, this was so good, but look at it. Look at that. 2017. I don't know if that's how old this was, but a friend of mine gave it to me. There was one cube missing, and she no longer <clears throat> warms wax. She does, like, essential oils and stuff in her classroom, so she gave me that. And I had this in my kitchen and dining room. I really liked this. I really did. It's like clean, but you really get that lime. You would have to appreciate lime. Oh, this was good. Um, I would definitely get more of this if we saw this again with Sensi. Has anybody tried this? I would love to know. And if it's been offered um, or if... I think the last time it was offered was in the spring summer of 2017. I could be totally wrong. Went through some hazelnut latte. Boy, do I love this. Mm. It is so good. I mixed this with, did I do this one with crumb top? I, I don't have it empty, so that's why I'm questioning it. But this was good. This is like a light like sprinkling of cinnamon and it's a latte. I, this to me is more bakery than it is coffee. To my nose, to my nose. I know everybody's different, but um, I do really like this and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I put this in my club just because out of all the coffee that Sensi offers, I like this one. Cotton candy cookie. Thank you, Catherine King. This was a bring back my bar. And I think I had bought two bars when it was offered. And the first bar, I didn't feel like smelled like anything. And then when I finally got around to warming the second bar, you couldn't get it anymore, um, which I had done at work. But Catherine clubs this. So... I have some more bars because she is so kind and is willing to share 
Mm. It's cotton candy and cookies and sugared raspberries. I really do like this. Warms this. In the classroom the week before spring break, we are on spring break this week as well as next week. So really like this. I have four more bars. <laughs> right, Catherine? Um, that I will definitely be enjoying in my classroom. I'm going to try this um, in the upstairs, like in my loft and hallway area and see, see how it does. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really have missed this and it just does amazing. It took me a long time to get through this bar at work because it does last. So that was a good one. Clementine Blossom. Mm, I do like this one. This was from the Valentine's Day collection. You can't get it anymore. It's Golden Citrus, Pink Nectar, and Sugar Blossoms. This really is pretty. Um, so I had warmed this in my bedroom a couple times. And I also warmed it in my master bathroom. I know my friend Amy, Amy Sense and Songs, loves this. And we have been talking about it. Gosh, it's been a few weeks now. Um, and I told her that I was going to warm it. And I did. And I do really like it. So I can, again, I can't put everything in my club. I already did some club edits, got rid of some things that are coming back. So that helped. But yeah, this was, this was pretty. So I had, um, I think two cubes left. So I warmed this with vanilla bean buttercream and it gave it kind of like a creamsicle sort of note added a little more decadence to it so this was really good um again i would get more of this if it came back i see why amy really likes that apple cherry strudel another one that i finished up at work uh, granny smith apple cherry and vanilla drizzle this is in my club it will always be there i know it, it this is a banger 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 of a performer right out of the gate probably seven ish six seven hours maybe um it just it just goes away but it's worth it to me i love the scent so much that um i keep it in my club and i really do love it it does great at work it does really well at my house um it seems to be like a fan favorite at work so i just keep bringing it and warming it but the weather's gonna start to get really warm and then I won't warm that there anymore. Uh, cashmere and corduroy. Love, love, love this. This is in my club. Yes, I'm pretty sure. It's not available. It's creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, cashmere, and sandalwood. So the last time I warmed this, I said I got a really gourmand note to it. I didn't this time. Maybe something was up with my nose. Um... Or I started thinking maybe there was like residue in my warmer that did it to this. I am not 100% sure, but I definitely didn't get anything like bakery gourmand this go around. I warmed this in my master, um, in my bedroom, and I, I love it. I do. Um, so I would warm that all year round in my bedroom. Other parts of the house, probably more like fall fall, winter, and even into spring. Um, just not something that I think I would have going in, you know, triple digits here in the summer. Vanilla bean buttercream, always a staple. Um, this is available. It's butter whipped with cane sugar and vanilla extract. Creamy and sweet. Yeah, this I like this by itself. I love it mixed. So I had... I had warmed two cubes, I think, of Peppermint Rush at work. It wasn't as big of a hit as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. It's Peppermint Sweet Vanilla and Fresh Fallen Snow. Um, so I brought the six cubes home, and I had a full bar of this. So in alternating, nope, I mixed it in the warmers, I think. Um, all throughout the loft, the hallway. This, you guys, came all the way down my stairs into my kitchen. Way stronger than the Sensepiration buttercream ones that they did around the holidays. 
and a good, I could smell this for like a good 10 hours. Um, then it wasn't really coming downstairs anymore, but when I went upstairs, I could still smell it where it was. It wasn't in bedrooms or bathrooms. So the loft is like a big, um, like open space, the hallway, that kind of stuff. But this was good. So I will, I think I have another peppermint wash. I would continue to do this combination. Um, I have one more of the peppermint buttercream um, bars that I'm just going to hang on till until um, winter and see if it does get stronger, but I'm not really expecting much. Around the campfire, which is smoky embers and wood. Oh gosh, I don't think this is available. You guys can let me know. Um, I don't think it is. And then sugar, which I know is not available, but it's in my club. Sugar is lemon drops and cotton candy. It's not like a candy scent fragrance to me. It's more body care. It's like the Aqualina Pink Sugar, if you're familiar with that. So, so many people, I can't even shout out one person because a lot of people have been mixing the sugar and the Around the Campfire, the Around the Campfire. So I did it too. I was definitely a little bit nervous because Around the Campfire is definitely ember, ember heavy. Oh my gosh. These mixed together, I don't know what... <clears throat> why it does what it does. It was so nice. It definitely toned down the around the campfire. It wasn't as like smoky embers as it is when you warm it by yourself, which by the way, I do like around the campfire by itself. I just have to be in the right mood for it. Sugar, I will always love. This was so great. So to every single person that posted or that did videos, um, about this combination. Oh my gosh, you were a hundred percent correct. I really loved that. And it's a combination I would a hundred percent do again. And then the last little combination I did from Sensei was from the Sensepiration, um, mango margarita, which is go, go mango mixed. So I said from the get go about this one that it didn't give me salty. When I think of a margarita, I think of that salty rim. I know some people do sugar. Um, it, this had no salt. Did it smell like a margarita? I don't know. It smelled like a fruity mango. Um, so I mixed that with ruby nectarine, which this is, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. I don't want to get tired of it. Oh, I love it so much. I love, love, love love ruby nectarine so these together fantastic so good i don't have any more of the mango margarita but if you have that if you have both of those give it a try um you will not be disappointed okay so that is everything yep for sensi so i'm gonna move on over to um Fender Wax now. So if you're only here for Sensi, thank you so, so much. I hope you're having a wonderful week, a beautiful day, um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. And we will just move right over to Bender. So I finished one candle. I've really, I don't know, I've not really focused on candles. And I've been home, you know, off work this week, so I've definitely had more opportunity to burn candles. I just... I haven't. So this is Hallmarks. It's the Caramel Toffee Swirl. It's Caramel Toffee Swirl, Buttery Caramel, English Toffee, and Sweet Clementine, and Vanilla. I feel like in the beginning, I got a little, like, Clementine type of note. Um, this was not ooey gooey, which I 100% do not like, but it was definitely lacking something. It didn't give me that, like, burst of gourmand deliciousness that I was expecting. Um, the burn was fine. Excuse that over on the side. That's me from either a lighter or a match, but it did really well. Um, I never trimmed the wicks or anything like that. And this is, um, beautiful, beautiful, um, jar, but this would not be, this one would not be a repurchase 
from me. For, yeah, for me. Ah. Um, but the beautiful, like, stained glass windows on here. Ah, really pretty. And all of a sudden now I'm sniffling. Okay. A couple from Sensationals. These were the last two that I had. This was in candy cane ice cream. Um, it was snackulant. You guys, I don't like or dislike this scent. It's just okay to me. Does it smell like peppermint ice cream? Candy cane ice cream? I don't think so. Um, but I use this all throughout my open concept. And my husband came home from somewhere. And he said, oh my gosh, whatever you are warming in here, I love. It smells so good. I about fell over. I was shocked that he liked this. I thought he was going to complain. Um, that it was like like a milk scent or something, but he really liked that. So if this is around again, um, you know, November, December, I'll get some more because it was nice to hear a compliment um, on wax. Okay. We'll do some sunshine. Oh, I do have, gosh, this. This is Letters to Santa from Goose Creek. Um, this was fine. This is, you know, fresh baked cookies. It really does not smell like anything great on cold, but I wanted to use it and not carry it over, um, until Christmas again. So I warmed this with, uh, the pharmacist's daughter, Fair Food, and, or is it Fall? No, Fair, Fair Food. So this is like all the things that you would find, you know, at the food trucks and stuff during a carnival, a fair, a circus. So like the apples, the, you know, the caramel apples, I think cotton candy, probably like funnel cake and that kind of stuff. So this was a really great, um, great combination. It's actually still going, um, throughout the downstairs and it's pretty gone. It's pretty gone. It's pretty strong. I went out for a couple hours to run some errands to do grocery shopping. And when I came back home, it was like it had only been in for an hour when it had probably already been in for, I don't know, nine or 10 hours at that point. So that was pretty good. From made to melt, I did Fruit Loops. That was one that I did in the front room since it's just a small um, sample. And I just have one warmer in there because it's where my husband, um, where my husband's office is. So this was Fruit Loops and that's exactly what it's about. Like you get the lemon, the orange, all the goodness that makes up Fruit Loops. And this was good. And it was in there for, I'd say a full 24 hours. Um, so that was good. From Yummer's Delight. I did Don't Be So Jelly and then So Jelly. So similar, one was like, I, it might have been a different type of berry for the, for the donuts. But I, these are pretty substantial, so I cut these in half and I had them in four warmers in the kitchen and dining room and it was good. Um, put it in in the morning and changed it out the following morning. There wasn't too much fragrance really there at all when I went to change it out. I did not shut those warmers off. So pretty decent. Um, for my most recent haul from BZ Tarts, this was Spun Sugar. So a cotton candy. And I got several of these. They're good mixers. They're good by themselves. But it did have a split in the top. Um, so I just went ahead and warmed it. It was good. Um, if you like cotton candy, very strong, long lasting, no complaints. Um, really, really, really do enjoy BZ's. So definitely a vendor. If you have not checked him out, the owner's name is John. All right. This is in here. It's not empty, but this is from, um, Rose Girls. This is lemon meringue pie and pink sugar. This was from a very recent haul. February of 23. This is good. On cold, this lemon really does, to my nose, 
come across very clean our lemon. Like not furniture polish, but like a disinfectant lemon. Um, however, not the case once this thing goes in the warmers. This was really good, delicious, um, equal parts lemon meringue pie and pink sugar. So I did make quite a dent in it. Um, really enjoyed it, had it all throughout the living, living space. From Pink Zebra, the sprinkles in Holiday Home, woody pine, sandalwood, vanilla, cinnamon. You guys, this screams um, home for the holidays. I know it's Holiday Home. This is so good. This made me want Christmas all over again. Ugh. So I had this in my half bath. Um, we're going on day, almost at the end of day two with that in there. I definitely want to get this. Um, this was a sample from Tiffany. I definitely want to get this in a bigger uh, quantity, you know, closer to fall. Really, really, really loved this. From Ava's Country Cupboard, which is now Traverse City. Um, this is I Smell Fall. Orange peel, juicy apples, nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon with hints of vanilla and musk. This was poured in August. So we have had some really rainy, windy, chilly not brisk very chilly days i had one we had one day a few days ago during spring break that it was like 70 degrees and i was like oh here it comes we're gonna start getting all this really warm weather and it's not gonna cool down again until october but then it like torrential downpoured <laughs> like all day yesterday and this was fantastic and wonderful to warm so really really enjoyed this um i had enough um, for four, four five, six warmers. Um, and I just put this in and let this thing do its job all day yesterday. Very good. I have not purchased since the name change, but I'm sure that I will in the near future. I really have to slow my roll, um, and not buy wax for a bit and, uh, <sighs> use what I have. So that's what I'm doing. All right, I went through a loaf in strawberry cupcakes from Sassy Girl Aroma. This I bought in May of 2022. This is strawberry vanilla cupcake with buttercream frosting. You guys, this on cold, oh, I got such a green note in it. I really, really did. And which was kind of off-putting to me. But then when I, I started warming this, I don't know, a month ago or something, and I warmed it in my kitchen in my dining room, and I didn't get that green, the green note. It smelled, it smells like fresh strawberries. I don't really get like a cupcake, like a bakery note. It's just like fresh strawberries with like sugar and maybe like whipped cream, homemade whipped cream on top of the, of the strawberries. Um... But then I've been warming this like everywhere. And when I tell you this has been so damn strong, like my kids were even saying like, oh my gosh, mom, whatever you have, whatever strawberry you have, it's so, it's so strong. And it was like crazy. I couldn't believe how strong this was. Oh, but it was good. It was good. Um, I'm kind of over it right now just because I really doused the house multiple times in strawberry cupcakes. Um, I did enjoy it, but you know, maybe in a year, um, I would go back and get some more of this. The loaves are very substantial, um, and it was good. And I'm here, now I'm going to knock everything down and I'm happy that I, um, had some from Rose Girls Holiday Sparkle. I know I'm all over the place with winter scents and some spring, but Holiday Sparkle is spruce, apple, cranberries, and cinnamon. Another one that I really liked. This was a good medium throw. Um, I enjoyed this again on some of those colder, dreary days. This really fit the bill, and I, I very much enjoy it. Um, 
I'm not trying to get through like winter scents, but when I'm I'm still I'm still craving them and when it's cold out that this is what I reach for. I'm not reaching for like you know, margarita and pina colada and suntan scents. This is what I want as like a cozy, um, like cold weather scent. So that was good also. I would repurchase. Sassy Girl Aroma Pink Aqua Crystal. This might have been one of the older waxes that I still had from Sassy Girl. This is from March 31st of 2022. So almost a year old. Um, it's exotic fruits, vanilla orchid, sweet vanilla, and whipped chiffon musk. This is just a light scent. I don't think it would matter how long it was cured for. It's just light, which is fine. Um, but again, like bedrooms, living room, front room. I didn't warm this in any bathrooms or I think I warmed it in my bedroom, but not the boys' bedroom. This was nice. Not something that I would need again. Um, it's very similar to other things that I have had, um, but I enjoyed it. From Elfrey Waxy Wonders, Highlands of Scotland. So this is strawberry white cake, whipped cream, and ice cream. So this was two of her buns. Um, so a couple warms out of this. This was pretty light. Um, it's not very old. No, it, but it was just a light, it was a light strawberry compared to that strawberry cupcake from Sassy Girl. I mean, they were different, but this was lighter. So I bought it because of the name. So there's that. Went through... I don't even know what this was. This might have been like a like a bar because I had it all chopped up. This was Serene Waters from L3. Um, just a clean, not cleaner and not laundry, but like a clean, fresh scent. Um, this was warmed in bathrooms and my laundry room. And it was nice. Look, this lasted a long time. Put like a little piece in my laundry room. And like three days later, swap it out, put another piece in. Same with the boys' bathroom. Oh, Sassy Girl Aroma. I didn't have much left of this, but this is Oath. And this was in her like bag of blocks. So I just had got this in October. I say just October, like October was yesterday. But um, this is Toasted Marshmallow Sea Salt Breeze. Sorry, trying to read this. S'mores. Roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. So her beach nights mixed with um, roasted pine cones and smoked vanilla and sugar cookie and marshmallow. Um, everybody raves, raves, raves about this. I liked this, and on cold, I could smell the pine cone. But when I warmed this, I didn't really get pine cone. It was beach night with a couple extra things minus pine cones, like the smoked vanilla, the sugar cookie, the marshmallow, but I really didn't get, um, I didn't get pine cones. So I don't know. I mean, it definitely had plenty of cure time. I just, um, but it was still good. I like it. I love, 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 love her beach nights. So just really wanted that pine cone note to come through and it did not from rose girls ugh, a fave cranberry marmalade carbs oh i am so in love with this mm, and i have a few more bags and just sniffing this bag makes me happy oh the tartness from the cranberry marmalade mixed with her carbs absolute stunner um and fantastic, fantastic performer. Love, love, love this. Happy, so happy I have more. From Barrett Wax Crafts. This was Snoozy Melt and Cool Peppermint. So this is his lavender. Mm, with the peppermint. Not peppermint, spearmint. Cool spearmint. Did I say peppermint? Gorgeous. There were four, like, mini buns. Um... So I had a little bit left and I warmed it in my bedroom and it's still in there and I love it. Um, 
yeah, this is great. I have, I think the original snoozy melt and then maybe some more, but um, I've only ordered once from Barrett and I like everything <laughs> that I've warmed. I think everything that I've had has had like um, the snoozy melts. Mm. Maybe I had one thing that didn't, but I really like that his lavender is very good. From Vintage Chic Sense, this was Oh Holy Night. I'm pretty sure Jason sent me this. This was butter pecan, shortbread, and zucchini bread. I can deal with her zucchini bread. Um, it's creamier, I feel like, and that's what I'm scared to try other, that it's going to be too savory. Um, but this was good. This was definitely buttery. Like, you have to be on board for some butter with this. But this was good. They, it was two coins. And this was for November 3rd of 2021. So, this has definitely aged. And it did well. So, thank you, thank you, Jason, for that. From Second and Spruce, I did a sample of Diner Date. It's espresso... Uh, pumpkin pecan waffle type, cinnamon bun, caramel maple swirl. I warmed this in Nicholas's room. And this was good. Again, this was like, I could smell this outside of his bedroom. Mmm. This is like decadent. Um, I didn't want to warm this because of the caramel and the maple. But it just smelled like delicious coffee with dessert. And it was yummy. Um, he just has a element warmer in his room, and this did really well. He liked this a lot, so that was good. Candy Corn Streusel Kuchen Birthday Cake from Rose Girls. This is a sample for from, I've had this for a while. I was nervous about the candy cane, but I was craving sweets, something fierce. So I put this in my bedroom warmer at night, and this was good. The combination, her streusel kuchen is like a cinnamon coffee cake. It got the sweetness from that candy corn. It didn't smell like a candy corn. I'm not a fan of actual candy corns, but it just added a sugary layer to the streusel kuchen and the birthday cake. This was really good. A couple more and we are done. Uh, strawberry rhubarb pie from K. I'm pretty sure that these were two. I think these were strawberries. Oh, this was so good. Sweet from the strawberry, tart from the rhubarb. I don't know that I, I don't remember if I got like actual pie. I just think it smelled like strawberry and rhubarb. Mmm, yummy, yummy. About a medium high uh, performer on that and it was good. Uh, this was from Beezy's. This was a sample that I got. So this is Sultana. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I've never tried this fragrance from Lush, but it's like an apricot, bergamot, currants. I warmed this in the boys' bathroom. It was nice. It's like a clean sort of soap scent um but it was fine nothing that I would need to get again but very 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 grateful for the sample and another sample from BZ is lemon eclair this was yummy indeed Ugh, warm this in my front room my husband's office and you could smell this right when you came through the front door Oh, delicious lemon bakery. Yummy, yummy goodness. Really loved that. So, that is all. Those are my empty. So, being home definitely has helped. Like, as soon as I don't smell something, I'm changing it out. Um, yeah, so, like I said, we're on spring break for another week. So, I'm sure I'm going to have another walloping of uh, empties. I'm going to work through more of my... Sensi testers. I don't want any more like fall, winter by the end of next week. So I'm going to work on those. Um, I have some loaves from Swanky that I want to cut and start warming those because if they're not cut, I don't warm them. So I want to get that stuff cut up and um, 
just depending on the what the weather is I'll see what when I get to warming I still have like bring back my bars from Sensi from January I have the 10 new scents that Sensi brought out that I really haven't warmed through so I have a lot of stuff um that I want to do that I want to do that I want to warm through and test out and try uh next week so that's it you guys i hope you're all doing well that your week has been fantastic so far happy saint patrick's day and i'll talk to you guys in my next one take care